那个 vector fit 大于大于。Are you ready? Yes, sir. Hopefully, you may like to introduce yourself. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Noor Hayat Ranja. I was born uh, in a family of five uh, in the district court moment of the uh, in the Tehsil court moment rather of district Sargoda. Uh, I did my early education from that small town, and then I we moved to Lahore to complete my siblings and my secondary education. I did my O and A levels from Hsin College Lahore, and then I went on to complete my. Bachelor's in Electrical and Electronics Engineering from Middle East Technical University, Northern Cyprus campus, Turkey. Uh, my experiences in Aitzen uh, were profound. I had the honor of being uh, the school prefect and the editor of the college publication, the Aitzenian, and uh, there I learned some new sports as well, squash and horse riding, for instance. And uh, my experiences in, in Turkey were also uh, very good, since they taught me a lot about um, independence and self accountability. And uh, then I came back home. I took the civil service exam. This is my second time, and Allah has been very kind by blessing me in this opportunity. So how many years you have lived in Turkey? Uh, sir, four and a half years. Tell us about the country profile of Turkey. What is the population? What is the area? What is the lot many other things? What right. is the economy? Why it is called sick man of Europe? Batao. Right, sir. Uh, sir, historically, Turkey is a very rich country. It has uh, been the cradle of civilizations from the Romans to the Greeks to the Ottomans and now the modern Turkish Republic. Uh, the Turkish people are an ethnic mix of a lot of different uh, ethnicities as well. Um, nowadays, Turkey is inhabited mostly by Turks, ethnic Turks who have moved from uh, the um, the Anatolian steppes uh, westward into uh, Asia Minor and. Uh, small part of Europe as well, but there are Kurds also living on their eastern provinces. It was historically called the sick man of Europe because of its declining economy in the uh, in the 17th century or rather the 18th century and the wars that a series of wars that it had lost to Russia in the Balkan Wars and in the Crimean Wars, uh, which is why the Ottoman Empire eventually collapsed and gave way to the new Republic of Turkey under Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. Uh, they are uh, progressive people. They are hospitable and they are kind. And uh, uh, they are also a good mix of Eastern and Western ideologies. But currently, we see a clash, uh, a social clash between these ideologies, and uh, which gives the current Republic of Turkey that we have. It is um, it is a revisionist in a sense that President Erdogan is moving, um, in my view, again uh, against the principles of Kemalism. Uh, which were entrenched into the constitution of Turkey after the formation of the new Turkish Republic. What is the population of Turkey? Uh, sir, I will read on it, sir. I am not sure. Total area. It's the same. What is the size of economy of Turkey? Uh, sir, it has uh, the GDP of 800 billion. It runs a trade def a rate uh, positive of 5 billion, trade surplus rather. And its biggest exports are that of uh, machinery and vehicles and that too to Europe. It has. It is in the process of joining the EU. However, that dream seems a little bit extended. There is a canal running between. Uh, there is a canal of Turkey which is connecting the Mediterranean and what yes, is sir. the name of that canal? So it's the Bosphorus Canal. Bosphorus. Yes, canal. sir. And they are they are constructing another canal. Yes, sir. What is the name of that canal? So it's Istanbul Canal. So what is the progress? Uh, sir, it is a 20 billion project uh, heralded by President Erdogan. And um, it has its links in history because the mantra uh, doctrine. They, ha they have started the construction? Yes, sir, they have. But there is backlash against it as well since it will turn uh, Asian Istanbul into a virtual it island. Is it is going on. The, how much uh, revenue they, are, they have started collecting from this uh, Bosphorus Canal? Sir, uh, they have not yet since after completion. But they have notified it. Uh, I'll read more on it, sir. I'm not uh, exactly sure how much they plan to earn from it. What are the alternative sources of energy you are electrical engineer, especially with reference to Pakistan, which we can exploit? Sir, I believe that uh, Pakistan is on the right trajectory since it is banking on the hydro uh, power energy. And Pakistan being uh, the source of the Indus Valley civilization has huge potential in that regard. Also being a nuclear power like France, 
that has 70% of its energy running through the nuclear power plants, Pakistan can also exploit it. Wind energy is another resource that Pakistan is utilizing and solar energy, especially in the coastal areas of the Makran coast and uh, Karachi. I believe we are on the right track. Uh, time will eventually prove it. Where is the COP28 is happening? Sir, it is being uh, taken place in Expo City, Dubai, mm. headed by Sultan Ahmad Al Jabbar, who is the head of the COP28. What do COP25? What do uh, what they stand for? Sir, it is a conference of parties and the 28th edition so of what that. What is meeting. the focus and theme of this conference? Sir, the general focus is about. Uh, correcting the environmental uh, problems that are being created. It was formed after the UNFCCC, uh, United Nations uh, Charter on uh, Climate Change. And um, the current issue is how to fund the loss and damage fund that is uh, principally agreed by all nations and how to, sus uh, to sustain it in order to help countries who are at the brunt of the problems. For instance, Pakistan and Nigeria received had a lot of floods last year to, in 2022. So that is the main theme. Thank you. Thank you. Our pleasure, sir. Uh, press is your first choice. Yes, sir. Hmm. There is a word S. S, S means service, Pakistan yeah. Administrative yes, Services. Sir. Is it just a word or, or, or there's something more to it? Uh, sir, the nomenclature has changed from DMG in the past to PASS, and that is. Uh, I believe the spirit of this question. Service. I mean, service. service, yes, sir. Service. Yes, sir. It, it is just, it just completes pass S or there is something more in it. Uh, sir, I believe it is a service since it is very expensive and uh, DMG used to be only controlling the districts or administering the districts. Now, this is service in the federal level uh, in different departments as well and what in the provincial. Service, service denote. Sir, it denotes the public service delivery and uh, its oversight, which is done by pass officers. For instance, they work in the health sector, in the energy sector, in the agriculture sector, uh, in in, uh, in other departments like IT also. So it is a collection of services provided or administered by the officers of uh, this group. What is the, the basic functional unit of the police department? Uh, sir, that would be a police station. Yeah. So how important is the uh, working of police station for the police and for the uh, for the general public? Yes, sir. So police station is the primary source of interaction with the public. Police itself is also a service. Now, Police Order 2002 was a move of changing the colonial structure of police, which was based on the Irish constabulary model in 1860 by the British colonialists, to a Japanese community policing service that was envisaged in the police order 2002 and that aimed to change uh, the public perception of the police. In that context, uh, police has taken some revolutionary steps. For example, the Khidmat Marakis uh, try to uh, give service at your uh, buttons click, as they say, that they provide services uh, virtually. And also there are uh, uh, there are special centers for transgenders recently that uh, try to uh, ease the problems that they are facing in the society. There are protection for women. Model police stations are also another link to this uh, whole chain of uh, thought that tries to change the service structure of police uh, in a sense of delivering better. Certain measures have been... Uh, uh, there are certain measures mentioned in the police order 2002 to improve the working of the police, to make it more transparent and responsible. What are those? I mean, with respect to Police Order 2002. Right, sir. So first, it pins responsibility on uh, the police. For instance, uh, a policeman on duty uh, has to help any uh, stranded person. If you, if you don't, don't say, I don't know. You are uh, explaining just in general terms. I wanted you to be specific. What are those uh, instruments mentioned in the Police Order 2002, right, which uh, which uh, will make the police more responsible yes, and the working will be more transparent? So that is my question. Yes, yes, sir. I understand it now, sir. I misunderstood earlier. It is uh, the license committees, the citizen oversight of the police uh, at the national district and at the provincial level. Um, the specific name is... Um, I am forgetting that. Public Safety Commission. Public National Safety Commission. Provincial Public yes, Safety. It is based on the Japanese model. They also have 
their public safety commissions. What is the poli uh, police har police hierarchy at the provincial level? I said there are junior officers and there are senior officers starting from police hierarchy. Yes, sir. Uh, starting from uh, senior officers is inducted through ASP. Uh, then we have a SP. Then we have SSP, DIG, AIG, and IG, sir. Uh, has uh, our, our political system, do you think, has failed in bringing about progress and stability in the country? Sir, um, for sure it is struggling at the moment, but I believe that evolutionary process will take the political process further. Some flaws that I see in the political system are political uh, polarization between parties, non-democratic nature of political parties, the uh, politicians not strengthening the parliament and resorting to agitational politics and uh, strengthening street politics instead of making decisions in the parliament through lawmaking. So these are some problems sir, that I see uh, are a are a problem in the political system. What can you propose to revitalize this system and put it more and put it on progressive lines? Sir, I will urge the political leaders to act responsibly. There has to be national political parties who, uh, because democracy is uh, is the spirit of consensus, and uh, consensus is what uh, needs to take the country of different ethnicities and uh, political thoughts forward. Also, there needs to be um, uh, an understanding between the civil and the military leadership on the model of the National Security Council, the National NCOC that acted very perfectly in uh, uh, the state of crisis. And also the recent anti-smuggling drives that have taken place is a model for Pakistan to emulate further in the future so that uh, progressive steps can be taken in this regard and politicians can be strengthened uh, in, in this context, sir. Okay. Why the uh, squash standards have fallen so badly in our country? Uh, sir, I believe that uh, uh, um, first of all, squash needs to be introduced in the college and the school level to encourage the raw talent coming out. And we have to provide a, a structure for uh, players who pursue this sport to provide them a good living. For instance, there is lack of uh, sponsorship by private uh, uh, groups also because uh, there is lack of training on the scientific level. Uh, the players need to have physios and trainers. We do have coaches at the provincial level, uh, but however, there is lack of modern training and uh, uh, gym work and work ethic. And also the eating habits need to be inculcated since the sport has uh, transformed a lot in the recent years and all these nutritional aspects need to be taken care of. So national policy needs to be made in this regard, sir. Welcome to CSP's Academy for CSSPMS Preparation. CSSPMS Tehreeri Imtihan ke tamam mazameen ki online aur on-campus tayari ke saath saath subject selection, assignment checking, class test, mock exam, individual teacher discussion aur feedback session ka inakaab kiya jayega. Iske alawa FPSC ki tajweez karda books se bane mayari notes aur CSP's publisher ki behtereen books mohaiya ki jayengi. Noor Hayat Ranja, your favorite person is uh, Antonio Guterres. Where is uh, Monsieur Guterres from? Uh, Madam, he is Portuguese. And why do you like him? Madam, because uh, his whole uh, history, be becoming two-time prime minister, serving two times prime minister of uh, Portugal, and also head of his political parties, he had some very progressive stance. Also, he is an electrical engineer as well. Uh, uh, studying from a university in Lisbon. He headed a socialist program uh, that uh, wanted to end the economic disparity between the rich and the poor. And also his stance on refugees uh, while he served in the United Nations for 10 years uh, as the United Nations uh, human uh, the refugees um, uh, ambassador. And also uh, his current stance on climate change is very inspiring and his role in the current Israeli war on on Palestine is also something uh, that we see with clarity is a just voice and humanitarian leadership uh, that we see very less often in the world. What about Kashmir? Uh, sorry ma'am? What about Kashmir? Yes ma'am, um, uh, his uh, views on Kashmir sir? Yes. Ma'am, I'm not much informed, I'll read more on it. Okay. Uh, you read Why Nations Fail? Uh, do you agree with the book? Yes, ma'am, I do agree with the book. 
Yeah, are those the only reasons why nation fail or do you think there's something more to it? Madam, uh, some reasons that are listed there are institutions and I think that is the core problem. It discusses other theories as well and debunks philosophers like Ibn Khaldun who uh, gives uh, environmental theory and uh, also Montesquieu who gives an environmental theory that warmer temperate region people are lazy and they are uh, unintellectual because of the climate. He says it is not the climate, geography or the lay of the land which makes uh, institutions uh, or countries prosper. It is actually institutions and then he derives it to the colonial history of certain countries. For instance, America is progressive in North America because English institutions were more inclusive and South America is is decadent in economic field because Spanish institutions of in, uh, encomiada were more extractive. And I think that is uh, the root problem. But he, uh, but the tone is optimistic. He believes that uh, the authors believe that this uh, vicious cycle can be broken and has been broken in the American South after the Civil War. Uh, the extractive institutions uh, in the American South were broken, and now it is incorporated in the inclusive institution of America as a whole. What is, what is the situation of uh, the natives in USA? Why do they not have institutions to protect the rights of the natives? Uh, Madam, uh, the natives uh, have been at the brunt of colonization. They have been uh, pursued by American military and their economic interests driven off their lands. But pursued or persecuted? Persecuted is the better word, yes ma'am. Okay. Is the right word actually. Okay. Ranja Ranja Karde Me Aape Ranja Hui. Can you explain this? Yes, madam. Uh, it is uh, from Hir Varisha, uh, Hir Varisha's book also. It says that how he falls in endless love with Ranja and then he she sees herself only with union with Ranja and that uh, her own identity diminishes in front of him. So how do you explain it in uh, philosophical terms? Well, there is, uh, madam, according to Spinoza, it is uh, it can also be taken in the view of Vadatul Vajud which is that the universe and nature are one and the mind and body is also one. That uh, the truth of everything is God itself and everything else that we associate names is temporary and transient. Thank you so much, Dr. Sir. Thank you, ma'am. Well, Nur Hayat, uh, Albert Einstein, he considers one of his statements as the biggest of his blender. Can you explain that? What was his biggest blender? It is the atomic? Uh, no, about the universe. Uh, it is the general theory of relativity. No, no. Well, uh, in your interview, talk about Byzantine. What, uh, who was Byzantine? Sir, uh, Byzantine is a later name given to the Eastern Roman Empire. At the time, they called themselves Roman Empires. It, uh, the city of Do you know about the Emperor Byzantine? Something about the Emperor Byzantine? Uh, uh, not so you don't know about the No, sir. Uh, okay. What is the major difference? When schism happened between Roman Empire and it divided into Eastern Roman Empire and Western Roman Empire? Yes, sir. The Great Schism happened in 1055 AD and it was when the Western Catholic Church got separated from the Orthodox Patriarch from uh, Constantinople. And what was the base and what was the reason behind this schism, Great Schism? Uh, sir, the reason was different ideologies. Uh, but there was also geopolitical reasons as well. Since fine, that's fine. It's pretty good. Uh, in Republic, Plato discussed about three classes. Can you discuss those classes? Yes, sir. Uh, the first is the guardian class uh, uh, that uh, that separates into the philosopher king and the auxiliaries. And then we have the peasant class, uh, the warrior class, the second, which are run by the virtue of courage. And then we have the peasant class or the artisan class. And what was his justice in the society? His justice was based on division, tripartite division of the soul and the state also. That everybody is given to what he deserves or what he wants to do in life. And what is the job and duty nature of philosopher king? Sir, it is to ensure that the state is virtuous one. And number two, that everybody lives a happy life, which is the good life. Because he alone knows what the good life is because he's a okay, philosopher. In keeping in mind the history of subconscious, can you name some philosophers king? Because you have read Plato as well. So he thinks different about the philosopher's king. Can you name some philosopher's king in Indian history? Sir, I think Ashoka from the Gupta Empire hmm. considered and himself, himself a philosopher king. Hmm. And? Other than that, sir, I would believe Bahadur Shah Zafar. Uh, Bahadur Shah Zafar? Sir, because he, were, he wrote poetry. And uh, 
okay leave it <coughs> okay consider you have a tool of utilitarian philosophy utilitarianism as a tool and you're supposed to be a reformer how you will rectify political problems ills of pakistan uh, sir first of all is that i will increase taxation because only through taxation can the government this is against the principle of utilitarianism sir if we see that greater what is the principle of utilitarianism sir the prin the basic principle is greater benefit for a greater number of pe people and in the whole, convince the people to give yes, more taxes yes sir in the holistic level if their taxes are uh, judiciously spent i believe it helps them in the long run you are idealist or realist sir i incline more towards the idealism so that is why you are saying this yes sir now you got it yes, what i am saying yes sir okay now then what is the take of utilitarian philosophy or utilitarianism on the evolution of government or state uh, sir it considers the formation of state as an evolutionary and a necessary measure so that people could as other contractualists thought that people could live in a life of security and their natural rights could be protected <laughs> under a government a constitution and they could live a happy life under law and security as hobbes considered that the state of nature is a war of everyone against everyone else and uh, to protect this fundamental right of security of life the state forms so i think utilitarian principle is also takes a leave from hobbes page and that is uh, that the state is necessary to provide maximum benefit to the maximum number of people through laws uh, through deriving a political theory and the moral code is also based on this principle do you know that uh, montesquieu got inspiration from some political uh, system what which political system he got inspiration for propounded his celebrated theory separation of power and system of check and balance so the american uh, political system derives its inspiration from montesquieu and montesquieu, montesquieu derived it kahan se derive kiya tha so the english political system is, do you think that there is a, a system of separate of power separation of power so there is no absolute uh, separation of power in england since parliament is more supreme to other institutions Okay, good. Uh, do you think there is a relation between Magna Carta and Declaration of Independence in America? Yes, sir. Uh, Magna Carta in 1215 was the first instance that the absolute power of the king was checked by the nobles, and there were uh, the principle was established that certain rights the king cannot impinge upon, and this principle was ideally uh, propounded by the founding fathers of the United uh, United States of America. Okay, I got. What is the uh, significance of uh, government of Indi uh, Indian Penal Act 1837 in Indian history? Sir, I'll read on it. Sir, I'm not sure. Okay, can you tell me that why Indian National Congress rejected Cripps' proposal? Uh, sir, as Gandhi is quoted as saying, uh, at a mouthpiece of the Congress, that it is a post-dated check of a failing bank. The Cripps mission came at a time of World War II when Britain was apparently losing to the German uh, side. and they considered that the concessions given by uh, by crips mission was too few and it provided dominant status after the war and constitutional reform that we uh, that we saw came later uh, were too few to placate the nationalism the indian nationalism that had exploded during the war fine that's pretty good my last question in uh, when 49th parallel established in which year what is 49th parallel Sir, it is the division line between Canada and America. When it established, sir, thirty-eight parallel. Sir, thirty-eight parallel is the North Korea and the South Korean uh, line. Cup established, sir, in nineteen fifty-four uh, by the end of Korean War. Good. Hello, Jay. Thank you very much. I think you did well. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's uh, conclude this uh, formal session. Let's have an informal discussion. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. there are good things and some of the areas which we will be able to identify and then you need to look into those seriously theek okay? hai yes sir uh you do create yes sir uh impact of your presence in the interview thank, thank you sir uh introduction aapka it is too short you need to work on it right sir one pager likho ek minute mein deliver karna sikho <coughs> and it should be based on objectivity right see okay but uh, you have got something very powerful in your uh, introduction you have not been able to sell it yes sir in a proper way you need to sell yourself right sir you are selling yourself in the interview when it comes 
that you they give you an opportunity if you they ask you to introduce yourself yes sir then this is a time to sell yourself yes sir. otherwise during the course of interview whenever you get an opportunity to explain yourself you need to explain yes theek hai na if you are prepared then you will be able to do communication skills are good keep it up your intelligent confidence is there uh, knowledge level aapka satisfactory hai but you need to keep on working yes sir inshallah theek hai और सिटिंग पोचर इज फाइन वॉइस का इम्पैक्ट जो है वो आपका ठीक आ रहा है इट इज क्लैरिटी है ठीक है तो सिंस यू हैव ऑलरेडी क्वालिफाइड देखो बात ये है कि अभी यू आर द विनिंग हॉर्स पंजाब में इट इज अ वेरी टफ कंपटीशन यस सर एंड यू आई थिंक यू आर अ विनिंग हॉर्स तो तुम जो है ना फोकस करो न्यूज पे yes, और पॉइंट वाइज नोटबुक बनाओ पॉइंट वाइज यस सर जैसे पावर पॉइंट बनाते हैं ना तो वन टू थ्री फोर पॉइंट होते हैं एनर्जी सेक्टर है इकोनॉमी है उस पर पॉइंट लिखो वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर ठीक है ना तो उनको सुबह उठ के रोज देखो साउथ साउथ टॉपिक्स पे कब इंटरव्यू तुम्हारा सर जनवरी फर्स्ट वीक ओके यू हैव गॉट टाइम तो दिस इज समिंग वेरी गुड जैसे तुम्हारे पास टाइम है यस yes, तुम अपनी कम से कम सौ टॉपिक के ऊपर जो करंट इश्यूज है उनके ऊपर तुम्हारी क्लैरिटी होनी चाहिए जी सर ठीक है ना तो जब तुम कन्वर्स और रोज सुबह उठ के देखो इकोनॉमिक चैलेंजेस क्या है सोशल इश्यूज क्या है यूक्रेन क्या है इसराइल क्या है थिंग्स लाइक दैट जी सर ठीक है ना अच्छा सर तो आई थिंक यू विल बी एबल टू मेक वेरी गुड मार्क्स यू कैन कम्पीट वेल जी सर इनशाला लेकिन तैयारी करनी है तैयारी का मतलब क्या होता है आठ घंटे रोजाना किताबें पढ़ो रिव्यू करो अखबार पढ़ो ये सारा मिनिमम जी सर इन आप सर आपने अच्छा इंटरव्यू दिया अच्छा रही और आप अगर और एफर्ट करें इम्प्रूव करने की कोशिश करें यू कैन फेच मोर मार्क्स विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट और बिल्कुल नूर हयात you have a good uh, knowledge base but i would recommend ke do work hard on it you see chance. especially why nations fail pe uh, there are many aspects that you have missed so i would recommend you read that agar ye bhi aapne de diya ya nahi diya nahi diya madam ab psychological nahi hua psychological nahi hua na to bina ek rakho sport agar horse riding dekh rahe ho to latest competitions kya hain Uh, उसके जो है ना कैंटर किस तरह है जंप कराते हैं उसकी हाइट कितनी है लेटेस्ट आजकल कौन चैम्पियंस हैं नेक्स्ट चैम्पियनशिप कहाँ हो रही है यू नो ऑल दो थिंग्स यू शुड नो सेम गोज फॉर स्क्वाश इन्होंने तो सिर्फ पूछा ना पाकिस्तान में स्क्वाश क्यों नहीं हो रहा स्क्वाश कोर्ट पे सवाल आ सकता है स्क्वाश चैम्पियनशिप पे आ सकता है सो बिकॉज टू लिमिट योर टाइम and yes, zero in i would recommend ke ek pe likho isi tarah maine to antonio guterres pe pucha but einstein pe bahut sawal aa sakte hain physics pe sawal aa sakte hain e is equal to mc square pe aa sakte hain quantum theory pe aa sakte hain so wo ek nayi dimension ho jayegi so antonio guterres pe aapko achhi knowledge hai आइंस्टाइन को निकाल दो क्योंकि वो फिजिक्स का फील्ड जो है वैसे तो आप इलेक्ट्रिकल हैं आई एम श्योर यू हैव बेसिक्स नॉलेज ऑफ द फिजिक्स बट स्टिल आई वुड रिकमेंड कि दिस इज़ अ कंपटीशन जितने फ्लैंक्स खोलोगे उतना अटैक होगा जितने फ्लैंक्स अपने फोकस रखोगे उतना यू आर अ विनिंग हॉर्स ठीक है I wish uh, you. Madam, I'm worried more about uh, the hobbies that I've written huh. since horse riding and squash I do. Uh, not so enthusiastically because of time constraints. I could see that ये वो सिर्फ school की practice जो है उसी की वजह से. तो I would recommend कि ना वो चीज लिखो जिसको आप defend ना कर सको. ठीक है. ठीक है. एक ही चीज लिखो और उसपे फिर you should know everything about it. ठीक है. ठीक है. ठीक है. Thank you. Okay. And with your permission, मैं ने उसी related से related बता देता हूँ थोड़ा सा. Yes sir. जैसे कि human beings are organic. जितनी पुरानी empires ने they were like organic. Yes sir. और अक्सर सर क्वेश्चन पूछा करते हैं कि रोमन अम्पायर के फॉल की कॉजेज वही कॉजेज थी जो मुगल अम्पायर की वही कॉजेज जो ऑटोमन अम्पायर की हैं तो इसने भी जो वाई नेशन फेल्स का जो थीसीज है ना वही ऑर्गेनिक चीज़ के स्ट्रक्चर के गेम घूमता है दूसरी चीज़ आपने एक बड़ी फेमस कोर्ट आपने कोर्ट भी किया था इंटरव्यू में दिस इज वॉर ऑल अगेंस्ट ऑल कॉम्पिटिशन जो है ये दिस इज वॉर ऑल अगेंस्ट ऑल तो इसमें जैसा कि डावन का 
उसकी थ्यूरी का एस्पेक्ट है कि जो फिटेस्ट होगा वो सरवाइव करेगा yes. आपका बहुत अच्छा इंटरव्यू है आप जो आंसर्स दिए हैं उनकी डेप्थ इतनी जबरदस्त है कि तो बहुत कम स्टूडेंट्स मुझे हमें मुझे फेल हुआ थैंक यू सर आपको स्कोर जो है ना टू ट्वेंटी से ऊपर करना चाहिए इसके लिए जो फाइनल जो टचेज है ना जो यहाँ के अभी जो इंटरव्यू में जो ग्रे एरियाज आपको बताए गए हैं उनको आपने रिमूव करना है और उनको पॉलिश करना है जैसे आपने जो आंसर्स दिए वो बहुत अच्छे हैं थैंक यू और बस जो ग्रे एरिया उसको थोड़ा सा दोबारा से फोकस कीजिएगा और जैसे कि अभी वो आइंस्टाइन का ना ही कंसीडर ही टॉक दिस कि मेरा ग्रेटेस्ट ब्लेंडर था वो यूनिवर्स को स्टैटिक समझता था आपने फिजिक्स पढ़ी इसलिए मैडम ने कह भी दिया कि भाई आप उतना खोले ही ना अपने फ्लैंक्स को जैसे तो फिर जब हबल हबल ने जब थ्यूरी दी कि यूनिवर्स इज एक्सपेंडिंग उसने कहा ये मुझे अंदाजा था लेकिन मैं जो है ना बहुत बड़ा ब्लेंडर कर चुका है तो आप अपनी चीज में ऐसे ओपन ही ना करें ठीक है कम कर दे ठीक है और आई आपने जो है इंडो पार्क हिस्ट्री को थोड़ा सा और देख लीजिएगा मुगल अंपायर से रिलेटेड अक्सर चीजें आजकल और डिफरेंट वॉर्स के ऊपर बातें पूछ रहे हैं ठीक से ठीक है जैसा कि आपको बताया आपने बहुत अच्छा आंसर दिया कि अशोका बाजार इसके अलावा आप कह सकते हैं अलाउद्दीन खिलजी शेर शाह सूरी जी सर अकबर ठीक है जी सर ये भी फ्लॉस उसके कह लें उनको ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू फॉर दैट ऑफ विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट